So we're gonna go ahead and start up the, here's a little video of my little experience um, changing your port injectors out on your EcoBoost. Oops. And uh, so I pulled it off one time already to um, get the injector swapped out, but I ended up with the wrong injector. So I'm gonna hear, uh, get you a little tutorial of what's needed to get it off and see how, how it goes. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect these little clips. These are easy, they just usually just come straight out. All the way out like this. Boom, straight off. This is another one that will have to be, uh, it's easier to see it on this one, but it has a little clip on this back side, right? Well, on the back side right here that just, you push against it to like swell it out and boom comes right off it's fairly easy you can actually see this is the one right here see this clip here just pull this push it down pull the clip out boom comes right off we're gonna put that one back on make sure we don't lose it that's as far as that um you'll have to pull these tabs off of right here each one of these to get it off I, I last time I didn't ever put them back on I actually clipped them off being that they're kind of a pain to put back on so that's that this side uh, don't have to be too crazy um, sensor comes off in the back sensor off sensor from right here as well and then we're gonna have to take this bracket off this just applies pressure right here and you pull the sensor upward okay another thing that will have to come off as well is this sensor i took it off from this boot last time and uh since i'm going to be pulling back on it this sensor as well needs to come off and they're fairly easy it's just simple simple pry and then back down just push the clip through see so just Push the clip through, and then straight off. This one will just take off this side, pull the charge pipe off. That way it allows more chance for it to come off. Same with this one. I just have to be pushed back. Boom, comes straight off. Off. <clears throat> from here we're actually ready to go ahead and um, pull the charge pipe off and then pull all the 10 millimeter bolts that hold the intake manifold on, <coughs> intake manifold on and pull them off okay so I know I said they were 10 millimeter I guess I must have forgot they're actually 7 millimeter so we'll just go ahead and pull all these off It should come. I think we might have a couple more of them. I guess not. Yeah, we have two more in the back. And with that, the intake manifold should just pop right out. Easy peasy.
And there's your port injectors. <clears throat> there's your port injectors. All we gotta do is, I'm gonna attempt to switch them out on the rails and cover up all my ports. That way I don't drop no clips or anything in them. But uh, that's the plan, that way I don't have to go ahead and disconnect all the sensors and re re you know remove the fuel lines and everything. I guess I'll give you back here in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and covered up all the ports on the manifold, top of the head actually. I think it's a two, well, off the head. And here, it's gonna be fairly easy. All I did is I maneuvered the rail completely out of the, the ports on the side. And these are actually easy to come off. They just clip comes back off this way. Sorry guys, I'm doing this one handed. Whoops. And that's why you put rags. So let me go ahead and get these off and swap them out. Well, I recovered that little clip and um they were all able to go on there fairly easy just make sure i had to switch out the one of the o-rings it was too big the ones that came with the original i50s but they're there now to see if they i can do the driver side i mean the passenger side as well um this one seems like i just have to maneuver it back in flip back in and climb down so after this we'll see what the passenger side looks like and uh they slid right back in fairly easy um this will be the the driver side accomplished and going back down. little snug. And then just give a little they don't have to be super super tight. I usually should have got my torque wrench, but you just give them a little snug and boom. They should be good. Now on to the Sorry about the lighting, but now on to the uh... and well, the uh, driver's side was fairly easy to get back in. It was just uh, maneuver it back in and make a couple turns. Get this. All I had to do was pick it up, pry it out, flip it around, put the injectors in, um, get everything organized, flip it around. Maneuver it back in, line it up with the holes, push it back down, and get my bolts back in for the fuel rail. Now I guess let's see what the see if the passenger side will allow the same thing. It looks a little bit more smushed in there, but I think we can get it. So we ran into a little problem here. Um, when you try to take off the passenger side, it hits this sensor. So as of right now, I think I'm gonna have to disconnect both sides and pull them out together to be able to get uh, this side accomplished as well. So. We'll see, see here in a minute. And yeah, sure enough, um, I went ahead and had to pull back the driver's side and the passenger side together to be able to be able to, uh, to be able to get to the passenger side. But it's very doable as long as you have them both out at the same time. I actually feel a little safer doing that one first by itself, covering everything up, and then doing it, and then pulling this one off right after. That way, you don't have them both up in the air. But uh, we should be able to get to these fairly easy right now. Okay, so now that they're both in there, we're gonna go ahead and uh, all six of them are in there. One, two, three, four. All six of them are in. We're gonna put the uh, driver side in first and then go ahead and continue with the, or the passenger side first and then continue with the driver. They're fairly easy to put on. Um, just finding the actual hole to them. See right there, that one already slid in. Yeah. Uh, passenger side slid in already and then we have the driver side and it should be pretty easy to usually pretty easy there we go boom both in and excuse me guys i just i'm doing this on my own outside trying to give you guys a little insight if you guys decide you guys want to do the Port injector on your 2018 plus uh, EcoBoost. And this is, seems to be the easiest way to, for me. That way, I didn't have to disconnect all the fuel lines and everything. I just covered it, like I said, I just covered up my manifold side or the uh, head of port side. 
for the intake and change them out. Seems like uh, if you if you don't plan on wanting to take off the uh, fuel lines and everything, this is probably the easiest way. Just also kind of sketchy if you are not careful. As you've seen, as soon as I took the first clip off and tried to do everything one-handed, it fell down in there. But I managed to get it. It seemed to be stuck in here a little bit in the corner, so I was able to get it out without no problems. Now, if it falls way down there, it seems like it's going to be hell to get it out. But as of right now, they're ready to go, ready to bolt back on, ready to put my intake manifold uh, back on and connect all my lines back in. And should be running here in a minute after I load this tune. Well, everything's back on. Um, just need to tighten up my charge pipe, but back on, uh, rear sensor, map sensor's on, solenoid, probably EVAP or something on, but, uh, everything hooked back up, sensor hooked back up to the back of the, that sensor, and got our sensor down there hooked up, side sensors, should be ready to just, uh, tie, finish tighten that up, put the cover back on, load the tune for E85, with a D-Torx 400 pump, uh, AMS pipes, resonator delete, and E85 uh, tune on full timing. So we'll see what we, do, we get, see if we get a little draggy pull maybe later tonight or tomorrow sometime.